Welcome to another example of integration by substitution. By now we know in order to perform integration by substitution, it's important that we select the correct u so that differential u is the remaining part of the integral. So looking at this example, notice how the numerator is degree three and the denominator is degree four. Whenever two parts of the integral differ by one degree, we always want to let u be equal to the higher degree part. So notice in this case, if we let u be equal to x to the fourth plus one, then using this equation, our denominator is now just u, and because our goal is to write this integral in terms of u, we now have to find differential u, where differential u is the derivative of x to the fourth plus one with respect to x times dx. So differential u is equal to four x to the third dx. Notice how differential u contains an x to the third, and so does our integral. But there's a slight problem here. Notice our integral contains x to the third dx, and we have four x to the third dx. So to make this equation match our integral perfectly, we'll now divide both sides of the equation by four. Which means one fourth differential u is equal to x to the third dx. So now using this equation, we can perform a substitution for x to the third dx and write this integral in terms of u. This would be equal to the integral where x to the third dx is equal to one fourth differential u. Our numerator would now just be one and the denominator is now just u. Well the integral of one over u is equal to natural log absolute value u plus c which means we would have one fourth natural log absolute value u plus c, but now we want this in terms of x, and u is equal to x to the fourth plus one. Notice x to the fourth plus one is always positive, so we can drop the absolute value. We would have one fourth natural log of the quantity x to the fourth plus one plus c. This would be our antiderivative using u substitution. I hope you found this helpful.